Hi everyone, I'm Veronica Secchi, and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Planning a wedding can be stressful enough, but when COVID-19 pushes your save the date, it can be hard to pick up the pieces. Canyons News reporter Sarah Perez follows a couple doing just that. Kristen and Joseph, a Santa Clarita couple engaged, were looking forward to their wedding day this past April. But with COVID-19, their vows were placed on hold. Our wedding was originally supposed to be in April, and we've now postponed it to June. This whole process has been really weird and really difficult, and it's affected a lot of things. After the engagement, the two spent this past year planning the wedding and finding the perfect home to start their lives together. The hardest part for this uh, has just been putting everything on hold. I got a new place for us. Uh, she hasn't been able to move in and all of our plans such as schooling and jobs have just been put on hold. While putting a pause on the next chapter of their lives, Kristen and Joseph wonder if they'll ever get to have the wedding they originally planned. Even if we do end up getting married in June, we don't know what that day is gonna look like. We don't know if we get to go on a honeymoon or what's gonna happen. But at the end of the day, I think it comes down to just him and I and our marriage, and we know that the party isn't what's most important, but at the same time, we want to have a little bit of normal too. Knowing that normal might be hard to achieve in days like these, they continue to stay hopeful for what's to come. Our family and friends have really kept us grounded apart from obviously each other. We've had to lean on each other a lot through this time and relying on God and been, we've been praying a lot has definitely helped us see hope and to remain faithful through this whole process. It's been a lot of work, but we're hoping that in the end it'll be worth it. With Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez. Canyons News reporter Daniela Torres looks into the CARES Act and how College of the Canyon students can apply online. Due to COVID-19, Congress has passed the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act with the Fund for Higher Education Emergency Relief. COC students who have expenses due to the move of on-campus classes are encouraged to apply. COC will be dispersing their CARES Act emergency grants $700 per student until the funds are no longer available. If you meet the few requirements, all you have to do is fill the form with your student ID, first and last name, along with your email and date of birth. Due to limited funding, apply as soon as you can. Quarantine has many people looking for company in the form of furry friends. But what does it mean to adopt responsibly? I'll take a look into this next. The County of Los Angeles' Castaic Animal Shelter has seen a change in pet adoption rates since COVID-19 sent everyone indoors. We have a um, high adoption rate with our animals here at the shelter. Um, I think with people staying at home, um, they want somebody to keep company and they're coming to our shelter and, and adopting from so that's really great for us since march 15th pet adoptions have increased significantly chavez says while this is a good thing one concern he has is what will happen when the quarantine lifts and people return to a normal life a concern that some pet owners echo so many people are saying that they're home and that they need something to get them through this and you know like they got laid off or something and you see other people suggest that they adopt an animal. So like, there's a lot of people who are just like wanting or rushing into it, I think. And like, they're not thinking about the bigger picture, obviously. In accordance with social distancing, the shelter asks those interested in adoption to go online to the county's website to make an appointment to meet the animals. It's probably good that there's waiting lists because then people have to really think about it and like, if they get called in for like, you know, oh, okay, we have an animal that's ready to be adopted. As this person is realizing that like they have to go back to work or they have to find a job soon, then hopefully only the people that actually want to take care of an animal for its entire life will be the ones to go back in. Right now, adoptions are free through the County of Los Angeles. Those interested can visit the county's website to view available animals. For Canyons News, I'm Veronica Secchi. After being stuck inside for nearly two months, people are excited to be getting back outside and into fresh air. Canyons News reporter Jesse Barquez takes a look into how people are reacting to hiking trails and beaches being reopened. California is starting to loosen up on their restrictions regarding social distancing, and that is resulting in residents spending their time outside. Parking for beaches and local trails have begun to regularly fill up as everyone takes to nature again. John Gardea, a resident from the San Fernando Valley, took this opportunity to explore Santa Clarita's Towsley Canyon trails for the first time. 
Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've actually been outside and like been active, like in this set sort of setting. So, you know, it's, it's nice to get out here and like I said, see the, see the outdoors. Uh, I've never done this loop, so it was, it was nice. I'll definitely be back. With Canyons News, I'm Jesse Abarcus. And that's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in. For more information, go to our website at Canyons News. For Canyons News, I'm Veronica Secchi.